Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So I'm recording live out of uh, Davos. I'm here for a couple of days with my girlfriend. We are doing some spa days here. So I'm enjoying my time here. So I'm gonna bring you now this uh, relaxed, small, short update here on the Bitcoin and Ethereum price. So my longs are closed that I opened up yesterday, my friends. I told you yesterday that we have a confirmed buy signal and also a potential double bottom formation here. And since we have seen then this push here towards this new resistance that we have now currently at around $59,400, I closed my longs for now, also because we are getting now sell signals in the lower time frames. So I'm expecting here a potential drop again down towards this $56,700 maybe even come down here to retest the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame so it is possible that if here we are failing to confirm that this $58,000 is now the new support we could see the price dropping again towards this $56,000 and then maybe even come a bit lower to close this CME gap that we still have at $54,000 and of course also reconfirm this main support that we have from this bigger ascending triangle so in the four hour time frame it looks like that we are in here for some more pushes to the downside if this $58,000 Will not hold so we are right at this support my friends we have to confirm it if you see a four hour close below fifty eight thousand dollars then in my opinion we will go a bit lower but overall in the bigger time frames we are still looking very bullish and in my opinion we will see very very soon new all-time highs and a big breakout here to the upside from this resistance that we still have from the all-time high of around sixty two thousand dollars and if today we are able to close this daily candle again above the nine daily moving average which right now is also here at fifty eight thousand four hundred dollars we're gonna have a confirmed buy signal in the daily time frame and that means that we most likely then not gonna drop below the nine daily moving average again but we're gonna have a big bounce to the upside and then of course also break this local resistance that we have currently here at around fifty nine thousand four hundred dollars to then move on towards new levels because here in the bigger time frame we are still looking very bullish and if this ascending triangle is going to break out to the upside we're going to see prices between 75 to 100k incoming very soon and since also coinbase is bringing out their stock into public approximately on the 14th of april i think that we could maybe get here a buy the rumor and sell the news event so i'm expecting at least until the 14th of april that bitcoin most likely is gonna head towards new levels and have here a breakout to the upside and then maybe once coinbase is going public here with their own stock that maybe afterwards we could get maybe a bigger sell-off or a big pullback that of course is also very likely to come if here we're gonna see one last big pump towards 100k because i told you my friends we have several indicators that are suggesting that we could see here a local top incoming very soon if here we're gonna see a big move to the upside and then maybe a bigger sell-off which will lead into a little bear market maybe same like in 2013 and then we're gonna start a big parabolic move towards levels way above 100k maybe after this little bear market so towards the end of this year and not right now so there is a lot of things that are going on this and next week my friends and that's why it will be very important to see where bitcoin is gonna break out from this ascending triangle and once we're gonna see a breakout then we can take some action but right now we are still in this consolidation phase within this ascending triangle everything is pointing out that we're gonna see here a successful breakout to the upside and once we are breaking out here to the upside or also to the downside then we should look to take some actions but right now in my opinion we just have to wait and be patient to see what will be the next big move because bitcoin in my opinion will get at least one more big push here to the upside before maybe we're getting a local top and then a bigger sell-off and the same thing goes also for ethereum ethereum is looking very
very bullish yesterday we had a breakout to the upside from the symmetrical triangle and as you can see here in the lower time frames also now we are getting a sell signal but if we are not dropping lower than this previous resistance here which now should be acting as a new support right at 2050 dollars also ethereum most likely gonna reach the target that we still have here at around 2500 dollars so if ethereum now is able to keep this support here in my opinion also here we're gonna see big fireworks to the upside especially if bitcoin is also gonna start to create new all-time highs and here in the daily time frame you can see that we are still in an uptrend so even if here we are getting a sell signal or we are getting a bit overbought and exhausted in the daily time frame we maybe come down to retest the nine daily moving average here two thousand dollars but latest here if we would fall lower right at the 20 daily moving average where previously also we had a lot of resistance and now this should be acting as a new support right at 1850 latest here i'm expecting then a big bounce to the upside if somehow we're going to lose now this new support that we created here at around two thousand dollars so ethereum is looking very bullish and we should expect continuations to the upside towards new all-time highs but the daily and four hour time frames right now are a bit exhausted and i think a little pullback is possible here in the short term but overall we should expect very soon big parabolic moves to the upside both in ethereum and also for bitcoin and if you want to trade this volatility that is coming up, my friends, then make sure that you have an account ready over on Bybit or Femex, because here you can easily trade all the cryptos you want with leverage. And if you still need an account, then make sure to use my invitation links that you find down below here in the video description, because with my links, you will get some extra bonus. And of course, you support the channel. And if you want to do some passive money with your Bitcoin, but you don't want to trade yourself with leverage, then try out PrimeXPT and use also my promo codes down below here because here we have this special co-vesting feature where you can just easily copy trade other successful traders and like this you can easily also multiply your crypto portfolio without doing anything you just have to top up some bitcoin here and then click here on follow and like this you are following here some of the best traders out there in prime xpt so and with this small update my friends i'm gonna wrap it up a big shout out also to our great crypto trading chat over on discord if you want to join our great crypto trading chat make sure to use the official invitation link that you find in the video description and then once you have clicked it you have to go here to read first and confirm that you're a human and not a bot by clicking here in this thumbs up button and like this you have free access to the trading chat and if you want to get here access to the live stream indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin then you have to send me here a private message because a small donation is needed otherwise just go here to youtube and get a membership because like that you also get free access to the live stream indicator on discord so if you like the content my friends make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye